Oh, I'm Ichi from Universal Audio. I have one with me, uh, Sphere. I mean, right away, if you just, it, it's a great microphone. Um, super low noise, uh, really crisp, uh, nice mic. Basically, folks from um, Summit Audio, uh, they, uh, they sold the company to Blue Microphones, and a few years, um, they wanted to do something else. So um, uh, him and Chris Townsend, who actually worked on uh, the 11 rack DSP, uh, they decided to tackle this big problem of uh, figuring out how to make mics better. Uh, microphones have barely budged, right, um, in terms of technological progress really change um, for many, many, many years. And they've really um, kind of attacked it in a unique way uh, with the two elements. We're very close by proximity-wise. So um, they were uh, often in our lab as well. Yeah, so um, uh, very cool to watch them work on this too. A lot of lasers. <laughs> like kind of like that um, Mission Impossible laser beams everywhere. Yeah, very cool. Basically, it's a very unique mic. Uh, it starts off with two elements. So there's a front facing and a rear facing. And with all that information, um, they can actually, after the fact, um, do all kinds of processing, uh, changing tonal characteristics as well as um, directional uh, access information. Um, you can also use it as a kind of a stereo mic, uh, picking up both sides. So it's a very unique uh, product. Uh, what's great about it is, is it stands alone as a mic. Uh, it's a very high quality mic to begin with. So without um, all of the DSP and stuff, it still sounds great. Uh, as, even as a single or two element mic. Um, it terminates in a four pin XLR. So it actually comes out to two, two cables. Um, and you can plug it into any preamp that can match itself within a dB. Um, it's highly recommended with Apollo because um, Apollo has the plugin built in. Uh, Apollo systems all have the, the Sphere software built into it and you can actually run this in real time. So you can do, um, you can change mics, change polar patterns, uh, access, um, it's fantastic. It's uh, being able to remote control all that stuff during a session, uh, the speed at which you can work with an artist uh, is probably the, the biggest benefit. Um, that you can do a lot of these creative things that would usually kind of mess up the session a little bit if you were actually physically changing things around. Um, you probably couldn't even remember what it sounded like either, you know. Uh, but you can do that uh, very rapidly, uh, find a flattering sound. And you might want to print it, or, or you could just use it to flatter the artist at the session just to get the most out of them, you know. Um, so really cool, really cool microphone. It's fully automatable. So you can do these beautiful changes, uh, really subtle changes, like uh, introducing some Back, back mic sound, uh, just changing the whole kind of picture uh, uh, during a mix. Really cool things you can do with this mic. They even have this um, uh, two mic mode where you can, you can basically make new mics. You can take two microphones and um, blend them together uh, to find different tones, different polar patterns. Um, uh, you can even make it act like two mics introducing phase as if there were two physical mics. Uh, and automate all that stuff. So, very cool, yeah. It does large diaphragms the best, but it also has a set called hybrid, which are, um, it might be like a pencil mic or a 57 or something. Um, it does those fairly accurately um, on axis, but it can't do uh, the modeling as comprehensively like it can a large diaphragm, because it is a large diaphragm mic, yeah. Um, it also has um, some linear models, like uh, models that you normally couldn't hear. They use the DSP to make it linear. Um, and once you choose the mic, you can now choose the pattern. Uh, the patterns are the ones that exist on the original or things that don't exist. So it's pretty cool. You can, you can hear the mic in ways um, that normally you couldn't. Um, so you could have the tone of the mic, but you could solve a problem with the pattern uh, that you need. Um, and then you have some filters. Um, you also have an access control. So even if the si a singer is uh, singing dead on, uh, if it's a little too strident, you can move them off the axis. You can do stuff like that. Uh, it changes the whole color of the, the microphone it itself too. Um, then you have, um, let me see, um, proximity control. 
So you can actually um, change proximity. And it's not just a simple filter. It's actually doing, um, using all of that data to do that. Um, then you have a two mic mode where you can blend two different microphones. Um, and there's a separate mode where you, you can record two signals separately. Yeah? Uh, so kind of a pseudo stereo microphone. So really highly recommended for um, singer songwriter, a guy at, at home uh, that's, that can't really afford to collect a bunch of microphones, uh, but wants some flexibility. Uh, I think it's going to um, also educate a lot of folks on what those mics actually sound like, um, it, it, just to get the different colors. 